Hi, welcome to the next part of my electric car project. This is the Rover 214 that I intend to use as my uh, electric vehicle. Presently um, MRT in tax. It's uh, presently February 2009. The car apparently has a head gasket on, although it does still run. It's in reasonable condition. Apparently it obviously overheats after a while. It does uh, run reasonably well. So I can move it around the... Uh, garage and such at the moment. I haven't touched anything on the car yet because I've got a couple of little projects going ahead. Um, mainly about to make a trailer to carry my kit car which is also getting some work done with. So I'm uh, basically getting some, th some things together uh, and getting things ready for when I start this off. Uh, the car's in reasonable condition. It's got a few little knocks on it. Yeah, so keep me busy. I've already sorted out a couple of problems already. Mainly uh, driver's side window that wouldn't work, and the sun visor that had broken, and I've got other cut of things to play with as well. As you can see, it's uh, an injection model, by the, obviously the additional pipes, uh, power steering, which is one of the things that I've uh, sorted out and returned it pump for. Uh, just about putting another battery on it because it keeps on sinking where you're going flat, which is uh, probably one of the reasons why the previous owner decided that they wanted to get rid of it, and the cost of repairing head gasket. Uh, as you can see, I've got a four-door vehicle. It's something I wanted to try and make sure I got because basically I do the odd shopping run, and uh, with the back of the car, where we mainly fill up the batteries, it would make it easier getting the shopping in out of the boot. But obviously, put it into the back seat rather than trying to struggle behind for a two-door. If you know what I mean. Anyway, the boot's a reasonable size. Um, Too bad to get a few or at least half my batteries in there, I'm not sure if it'll be going for 72, 72 volts of electrical power or 80, depending on which one of the two pumps I use. What you can see in the boot here is a power steering pump that I, I got off of eBay recently. Got this off of a, an MR2, and um, but obviously the one fed off the normal fan belt driven one will be no good. I uh, haven't yet got around to testing it out, but hopefully it's going to be okay. I've also got a vacuum pump on its way from America, again for eBay. Uh, well, this is because the servo brakes are not going to work with an electric motor in there. Uh, that's going to cost us about £90, which is a bit more than we need to pay, but it's uh, going to be much alternative, but we need to have power brakes or vacuum brakes. Did try a couple of experiments using some other pumps, but it was very hard to create any sort of vacuum pressure, so I do a sort of bite the bullet and get one of those. The car's in reasonable condition, I'm hoping to be able to get rid of the uh, kit car and the other little bits of things I've done over the next sort of few months at least, uh, and hope that I get a few more things to get ready for doing this. Um, obviously, as you can see, I've got uh, access to a garage here, so I can obviously charge the vehicle off the road, or ideally in uh, any other location, so I'm looking at having an onboard charger. Um, as I said earlier, uh, trying to do a cheap conversion using all the control equipment out of one of the forklifts. Um, and provided I can get to and from work, which is about six miles away, on one charge, I'll be happy. Uh, no more, I don't need any more speed than 30 mile an hour, which is generally the speed around here. There is the odd little stretch of 40 mile an hour, which isn't too far away, which would be nice to do that. I'm not expecting to be able to do any great speeds or long journeys. Obviously, I intend to keep my other car for those and try and do most of my commuting using this little car here. Got a couple of little dents to sort out, as I said earlier. I've got one in the door here, which looks like some of the wax of a shopping trolley. Uh, but apart from that, the car's in terribly reasonable clean condition. And it's uh, not cost us too much money, so if it all goes to kind of shape, it's not going to bankrupt me. Yeah.